What's up everyone, this is Yashir Lead, and in today's video of top teams to run in Joto Cup, best teams to climb. If you didn't hit Legend yet, you have the chance. We have some solid teams for you. Uh, let's go and see the teams. Okay. Firstly, the main codes. What is the like what are the, the top meta Pokemons? In the lead, I believe Wabafet is the best Pokemon. You can also argue that Mantine is good since you can debuff your opponent and put him to swap out. Jump Love, which is a recent, a recently buffed Pokemon with the new uh, Outrage Clone move, a Crop Blast, something like this. Fortress is a good Pokemon since it's a Steel Pokemon and every Steel Pokemon is always good. Uh, Quillfish, I believe Quillfish is more of an anti-meta Pokemon because you have to align it versus the Fairies, versus the Grass when you have more shields, something like this. And the counter swaps, what counter swap mean? When the opponent swap and you have something to hard answer to that. Quag is the best Pokemon, hands down. Among, in, in all of these, Quag is the best, safest one, because you have the best moves, like you have a solid move, you have Mudshot, you have Stone Edge, which is a Shadow Ball clone, you have EQ. Sudowoodo is also a solid Pokemon, because you can beat Skarmory, which is the best Pokemon in the game, and the Johto Cub, you can beat Umbreon, it's a close matchup, but you still win. As long as you win, you should be good. Shadow Grumble which is just gonna take your shields down and if they have energy lead if they sneak moves the, the matchup is gonna be uh, annoying meganium which is one of the hardest water answers like there is nothing that the water pokemon can do versus meganium even if the water pokemon have energy lead that's uh and and the generalist well like what's a generalist a generalist is a pokemon that's good everywhere lead swap back skarmory azu lantern that's just the best you can put those three together and then you will lose to Lantern, by the way. That's why you have to have a Lantern coverage, because Lantern is just a good core breaker. Umbreon is just gonna do Umbreon things. Steelix is just gonna do what a Steel Pokemon is gonna do. Massive bulk, fine pressure, but you're gonna get out bulk. And Typhlosion, I don't know why I have it here. It's just because it has a community day move. Don't use Typhlosion, by the way. Anti-meta picks, like what's a good anti-meta Pokemon? Glager is a good Pokemon. I think you need the purified one because dig is a horrible move and aerial ace is a horrible move so you need night slash wing attack and return maybe uh, shadow crobat just because it beats azu and it's fine but says uh what's its name that thing it's Calmary. lady Ann is fine good anti-meta pick can beat the fighters can beat the wabafet which is huge can beat the umbreon uh, it's a it's a close matchup because just Umbreon is just too bulky. Lady is also level 50 Pokemon, so it's very expensive. Unless you Smash King and you powered up this thing by mistake, I don't think you need to to make it. Noctowl, I recently buffed with Shadow Ball, it's a good Pokemon. It beats. It doesn't beat anything that much, but it's pretty much a, a solid safe swap because it doesn't lose hard to anything other than Electric. So. You can use it to bait out the electric, then farm it down later with a quag or something. Lugia, another flyer option. Heracross, the best steel answer in the Jota Cup. Hitmontop is another option of Heracross, so if you don't have Heracross, you can run Hitmontop. Politoed is just being annoying and spammy. It's a solid pick as well as anti-meta because it's not as good as lantern and as to be meta but it's a solid pokemon so that's why it's anti-meta steelix i have it as a meta and anti-meta okay steelix is, is is double agent for like meta and anti-meta and this pokemon here i forget uh, what's the name of this pokemon the grass it has leaf bleed it has dazzling gleam if you have purified you can run the return it's a solid pick like it's a very solid pick it's spammy, it has the best char charge, it has the best cheap charge move in the game, which is Leaf Plate, Bullet Seed, so that thing can like throw move like 3-3-2, three, three, there is always moves. And if they have Azu or they swap the grass, they swap the ground, you're pretty much gonna bully them. Mikargo, recently buffed with two moves, like not just one, Incinerate and Rock Tomb. It's gonna be one of the best counter picks in the game, but... The thing is, it loses hard to the water and the ground, so that's the problem. But it bullies the steel, like it bullies, it can, it bullies scarm, it bully, it can bully steelix as well, and it can bully the grass. Moving to the spicy picks, like what's a spicy Pokemon? Spicy Pokemon is the Pokemon that can beat two, three Pokemon's. That's it, and lose to three hundred. But 
it's fun to use. Ho oh, oh is one of them. Like shadow, I believe you need the shadow because that's the only possible cheap way to get a ho oh for Great League. Other ways, like you have to trade with good friends, and the chance is like four percent. Uh, Sunflora has a good move set, but it lacks the bulk. I think it it, it even loses to XL Azu if it XL Azu sneaks in a move. Uh, this thing here is just being spammy and annoying, and it XL to the Yorza. It's a very fun, spicy pick, and I am sure you need the shadow one. Donphan, it has body slam counter, I think. So it's kind of good. It's kind of good and bad as well. I don't know how to use it. I don't know why it's good. Why would I have it? It's just like because I'm lacking the options for the spicy Pokemon. You can have Shadow T-Top to beat the Skarmory, to beat Shadow Skarmory, and Purified Skarmory. Those three. I think you only beat those three. Shadow Skarmory, Purified Skarmory, and the non-shadow one. Uh, Bayleaf. Bayleaf is a solid. Like if you are someone who enjoy playing Bastion Double Gas. You can run T-Tar, Meganium, Bayleaf. That's a solid strat, by the way. Bastion, if you don't have, like, if you have this thing, you can actually use it later. Like, if you're gonna use Lantern in Ultra League, you can use it on here, on this Pokemon here. And and use it later, like, in Ultra League, if you're gonna use it for the faction. Uh, yeah, so we talked about the best Pokemons. How about we talk about the best team? So, in this team, like, the BBML code, the best code in this cup is literally... Skarmory with Lantern. I hit Legend with the Slowbro is a meme we made, an adequate one uh, popularized, so that's why we call it I hit Legend with Slowbro. Where you run the best core in the cup specifically with anything in the back, and you can still win. I mean, you need multi skills sometimes in some games, some close matchups, but pretty much this core is too solid. The only good answer to this core so far, I according to what I saw in PV Folk, when I check the matchup, is Quagsire. So Quag is going to be the best anti-meta Pokemon. Make sure to tell Marto that, that Quag is good. The best team according to PV Poke. It's literally Skarmory Lantern with Meganium. Uh, there is no straightforward Pokemon that can beat those three. Typhlosion has a good matchup versus all the three. Because you can Solar Beam this, you can beat the Steel and the Grass with Fire. And then you can Solar Beam the Water. Other than that, I don't think this team have any bad matchup. What's the, the second best Pokemon? Instead of having Meganium, because Meganium is a slow and takes forever to get to the charge move, so many, some people don't like it. You can use Blossom. Blossom is a very, very interesting Pokemon. And if you don't have a lander, you can just use Azo. So Skarmory, Azo, Blossom. So you can use Azo to bait out the Skarmory, to bait out their flyer, to do something, and then Blossom can sweep the back because it's gonna be spammy and very annoying. A code breaker to this team is like the bug poison Pokemon, or like just the poison. Like Quillfish and Ariados. Moving into another team, I call the BBML the ABB version. ABB weak to grass. So this team is weak to grass in the back, so you have to use the Azu as the grass bait. You in the lead, you swap you swap to Azu, they bring in the, the grass, and then you sweep with Quag. We have it here, Shady Asian, because Shady Asian is like one of the people who hit number one leaderboard like one time in his life. But he's very good at the game, to be honest. Like, I played him many times, and he only played Great League with Azu, Skarmory, Code, those two together. I believe he's gonna play Joto Cubs. Joto Cub, if he can't find Qs. So, yeah, this team is basically just very thick, very annoying. The nuke potential is very high because everything here has a nuke move like Brave Bird, Hydro Pump, and Earthquake. And the charge moves are solid, the fast moves are good, enough, enough to give you a, to get you the win. A solid, a, a, a core breaker to this team is, is literally Lantern. You may, you may lead Azo instead of Scorn, but yeah, those three are like, make a scary team. The Smasher team, a team that me and Smash King might run. I think Wobbuffet, I know, yeah, it's very thick, it's very annoying, it's very bulky, yes. Wobbuffet is a solid, solid, solid Pokemon. It can beat, it can easily beat Skarmory. So Wobbuffet, I like my Azu. I love playing Azu with Ariados or Quag in the back. So with Wobbuffet, you need the Purified one because it gives you another move because Wobbuffet learns only one move, which is Middle Card. So if you need, have a Hundo Purified, if you don't have a Hundo Purified, now it's the time to get one because you're going to need it. Like it easy claps Skarmory, it beats so many stuff. 
Ariados is just being a very spammy, very annoying Pokemon that does well almost versus everything in this meta except his Karmari. And Azu is just being too Azu, you know? A Pokemon with a decent coverage. A Coil Breaker to this team is Lantern. It's kinda tough, but I think it's playable. Steelix is also tough for this team, but it's playable. Like, Wabafit has like 350 HP, so it's just gonna soak up all the energy in the world, and then Diaz is gonna nuke, and then Quag or Ariadus is gonna sweep. Make sure to check my stream, twitch.tv slash Ashley, if you wanna see this team in action. If you have those three, those four, yeah, just watch my stream, and you, I, I will be featuring. I will, I'll try my best to. Be, I will try my best to feature this team. An anti-meta team. So Raiko is one of the best answers to Azu, Lantern, and Skarmory. So if they have those three in the lead, you can pretty much just snowball the entire game because you're gonna win the lead, and then Coldfish will be able to handle whatever they safe swap into. Because if it's Azu in the back, it's either Lantern or it's Carmody, or Quag. So if they have a Quag, you have Blossom. If they have Fairy, you have Quillfish, right? So yeah, this is pretty much a, the best anti-meta team you can build. The Wholesome team, we all know Wholesome. Wholesome always run a counter user in the lead with a Lick, with a normal, with a normal Pokemon with Lick and Fighting Move, so AKA Snorlax, and a Poison Pokemon in the back. So, if you look up the, the counter users, it's Wabafit. Uh, the Lick users, we have Tidiotsa. XL Tidiotsa, uh, again, doesn't beat anything, but Wholesome, Wholesome is too good. I think he can, he can, he can, he can get, do something with this team. I believe so. And with Ariadus in the back being so annoying. But yes, Wholesome doesn't have XL Tidiotsa and XL Wabafit. I mean, that's his problem. That's his team. That's like the signature team he has. A counter user. Lick user and poison in the back, right chat? Yeah, make sure to check his live stream at twitch.tv slash wholesome underscore. The Smash Clone team, it's a meme. Uh, Smash King is one of the best battlers in the world. He used to run, he's the one who popularized the DD Umbreon Nido Queen, which is the bulkiest, most annoying teams to play versus. And he featured, he played it enough on his stream to the point where he explained how to play every specific matchup. So instead of DD, you can have Wabafet. Instead of Umbreon, oh, you can have Umbreon, by the way. Instead of uh, Nido Queen, you can have either Ariados or a Quillfish. And this team is actually solid, no cap. Like, look at the bulk here is gigantic. Like, there is so much bulk in the lead and very good hard hitting Pokemon in the back. Make sure to check his live stream as twitch.tv slash smash underscore king08. I don't know if he's gonna play this team, but we call it Smash Clone because this is just copying to his uh, Open Great League team. Uh, soft, soft steam. Soft top is an amazing streamer. I don't think she streams anymore. She streams occasionally, and she like those three Pokemon. Like she like Wabafit, she like Quack, she like uh, Meganium. I think it's her favorite Pokemon. And yeah, you get on this team because those three are just too good. Like Wabafit is decent. Quag is the best anti-meta Pokemon. Meganium just beat everything in the neutral. So you can imagine if you have a Meganium versus a Water Pokemon. Make sure to give it a follow at twitch.tv slash softoff. And it's, I think the same for the Twitter at slash softoff. The Copium team by Pokegains. Pokegains told me he's gonna run Shadow Titar with Jump Love. And he thinks that there is no Coil Breaker to this team. Uh, what's the third chat? Uh, we don't care about the third because this team is bad. So don't run it, okay? Just check his live stream at twitch.tv slash Pokegain. The team is bad. The code is also bad. Don't use it. I didn't even bother to find a third Pokemon for this because literally he lo he loses to one Azu so far. Like you can see here, Titar can get bubbled down. Uh, Raikou beats the entire team. Wabafet beats the entire team. You don't even. I don't know. It doesn't matter what's your third. You're gonna lose. And then he can complain about the game being bad, and that's why he's not winning, even though he's running the worst code in the game. Sorry, Pocky Games. But this code is bad, don't run it. I mean, you can run it, but if you blame the game, I would blame you because the game works 100%. It's so good. The game is the best thing we, we ever played. Yeah, that's why we say stuff here on the Copium page. You can say anybody, anything you want to say as long as it's Copium, right? Moving into the next team, the small PP team. It's just a team that's consists of three broken Pokemons 
that do so much from the fast move. So we have Wobbuffet being the most decent Pokemon in in, 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 in in Gate League, I believe, because it has countered for some reason. Uh, a bad move like Mirror Code doesn't matter, but you have a return, which is, you can just literally return everything. And, and Shadow Grumble, which is literally even more annoying because if a Gramble sneaks in a charm, you're pretty much gonna lose. And Gramble is gonna shield once and grab both of your shields always. And then you have Mechargo. Mechargo is just too annoying. Yeah, this team is just so annoying to play with. Sis. And the fast move pressure is too much. So if you lose lead and swap, I don't think you can beat the back line. You may try because sometimes if you know shield, you're just gonna get fast move down by this team. JJ and Monka is team. And what do I mean by JJ? And, I, I mean, we all know the Bastidon double grass team. And you can run something similar to this team in Joto Cup, which is Shadow Titar or Mikago, which I, I prefer Shadow Titar with Bayleaf and Meganium in the back. We're referring to JJ and Pogo, which is one of the what's one of the best ABB player in the in, in the world, the one who popularized the SmackDown double uh, the Bastidon double grass team. Make sure to give him a follow on his Twitter. I think he started YouTube and he has some decent videos to feature his unique teams. Yeah. The Crimson 19 team. He's gonna run Wa he told me he's gonna run Wabafit, Azu, Wa uh, and and this thing in the back. You might wonder like, oh yes, sir, I think I saw the same team uh, on 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 slide number nine. Like this, it's the same as this team, like Wab Azu with this thing instead of but he didn't have the quag. How yes, and isn't that the same team? Yeah, it's the same team. But he asked me about my team, then he called it his team. I mean, Crimson always does that. He play my team, but like you know, if you want to watch my team losing, yeah, you watch Crimson 19 at twitchtv slash Crimson 19 And but the difference is that his team is weak to Slugma. Okay, make sure to mention that on his team if you watch if you're gonna watch him. The team is solid. Again, the team is one of the best. And he climbed with my team. On the in the Love Cup to 3200, which is his his season, his all season high. I I believe he's gonna he's gonna copy this team again. He's gonna copy my team again, and he's gonna climb for it because the team is just like oh to win, win lead, win swap. They can't even come back from the from the game to the game. Debuff is my thing. We're referring to Aragon's my king on twitch.tv slash Aragon my thing uh, because he loved to debuff stuff or debuff himself. He he played debuff teams a lot. ABB always you can tell here like this team is ABB weak to Skarn which is the best Pokemon So I think he's either gonna lead Quag or Lantern with Shadow Gramble and Ariados. He loves playing Ariados He also doesn't mind playing Shadow Gramble because Twitch chat always asks to play Shadow Gramble Because they are all evil. This is a, a good team. Maybe not the best But if you are used to play ABB teams, this is one of the most solid ABB teams uh, again, that's the end of the video. Special thank to Go Battle Log for giving me the access to their data. PV Folk for the amazing ranking and team build team building tools that they do have. Thank you so much. And MX Champ on Twitter, Mish. Thank you so much for organizing the slides and giving us this. And yeah, that's just, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video. Peace.